Hey everybody, this is Brett again with another Space Beast Terror Fright Let's Play video. I have been looking around on YouTube and I've found very few videos of this game. I guess, you know, it's early alpha. Um, maybe not all that many people know about it, so... Uh, I just figured I'd make another one. Um, I really like this game, so I guess I'm trying to get the word out about it. So, in case you didn't see my previous video or you've never heard about this game, it's uh, based on the film Aliens, among other things, and uh, you're a space marine. You uh, are boarding this sort of spaceship that's stranded out in space somewhere, and you have to get the data out of the uh, data cores on the spaceship and get out alive. The only problem is that it has been infested with deadly aliens, and um, these aliens will kill you in one hit. So, uh, to make matters worse, uh, every time you play the game, it's, it's kind of like a FPS roguelite. The uh, levels are randomly generated. Uh, sorry, procedurally generated would probably be the better way to put that. Um, so they are they are generated with some kind of random elements, and uh, so every time you play the game, you really don't know what's coming. Um, but right now, the way that the game plays, it's very simple, um, which is great. Uh, I kind of feel like, you know, one of my favorite games ever is Spelunky, and Spelunky is a very simple, focused game, you know. Um, there aren't that many elements to it, but what it has, it does very well. So, okay, I have just encountered my first alien, or xenomorph as they're called, and I'm activating the sentry gun next to me, and the sentry gun will basically kind of fight for me. You can see on my motion tracker down there at the bottom of the screen, I'm just totally surrounded. Which is a terrible feeling. This game is just absolutely frightening. You know, I'm, I'm at home right now, it's after midnight, I'm alone, and uh, this game is quite scary to play alone in a dark room at night, so. Coming. All right, I think this this side is a dead end for now. Too much going on over here. I'm going to try to go over to the other side of the ship and see if I can get some data cores. So the way that this game works, you start out with very little in the way of equipment and skills, as it were, and uh, as you activate these data cores and kill aliens, you get experience. And experience gives you kind of random skill power-ups. So getting those data cores is kind of key to progressing through the game. Although with the uh, sort of random generation element of this game, sometimes that's easy, and sometimes it's hard. So the thing about these aliens is they're not very fast. They're not very smart. But, uh, they will kill you in one hit. And there are just a ton of them out there. You know, I, I keep trying to make progress. And I have to fall back to where my sentry gun is posted. And with that muzzle flash, it's really hard to see what's going on. Jeez. <laughs> I feel like this is another dead end as well. I, I, I can't make any progress in this map. I really don't know what to do. No matter where I go, they're there. Ooh. Yeah, I'm 
I'm in trouble. This is not a good position to be in. You can see all of those aliens out there. I'm low on rounds. So, you know, one of the only problems of this game, well, I guess there are a few problems with this game, but being an alpha as it is, uh, it's not really balanced. So I have some some runs in this game where there are almost no aliens and I can just kind of walk through the level. Um, and then I have other attempts where I'm just, you know, totally surrounded at all times. There we go, there's a sentry right in front of me. If I get that, I'll have kind of a forward base. Alright, here we go. There we go, come on, come on. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now that is uh, kind of a breach. That is where the aliens come into the ship. I think they have limited numbers, although I'm, I'm not entirely sure. This is good, I'm making progress now. Keep in mind again, you know, the reason I keep my distance, I mean, it's not like playing Doom or something. Uh, one hit, one kill. These things touch you, you're dead. That's it. So you have to, uh, you have to really play it safe. Sorry I'm not talking right now, it's a little tense. <laughs> so the thing is I have the sentry activated up here and it's not doing anything. And that's something I've noticed in this game. It might be a bug, you know, game is still an alpha. But um that sentry at the back of the hall is just not doing anything. Again, could be a bug. Maybe I haven't activated it yet. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's active. It has 43 rounds left. 34. Jeez. What, 179 rounds left. This is not going well. Oh, come on. That sentry's out. No more ammo. This is insane. like I have to keep leading them back to my sentry. Oh, I can't accomplish anything over here. Alright. 
right, I'm gonna try another way. See if I can find another path. And I don't have maps at this point either, so I have very little knowledge of what I'm going into at this point. You active, you're live. Okay. Come on, Sentry, do your job. They just keep coming. And I have less than a hundred rounds left. I think I'm pretty much screwed at this point, unless something changes. I mean, I'm trying to conserve ammo, I'm leading them back into the sentry guns, but they just keep coming. This thing is live, it's just out of ammo. I have no ammo left. Alright, great. I have no ammo left. And I'm, I'm stuck in this corner of the ship. I don't know. I kind of feel like this uh, this level might have been unbeatable, which is just, uh, you know, kind of shows that maybe the level generation algorithm is not all the way there yet. Alright, like this, this guy's dead. I have, I have no ammo, that sentry's dead. I'm stuck. Look at this hallway, it's just, I mean, littered with dead aliens. Oh, come on. Alright, so that's what happens when uh, you get screwed over by the level generator. It happens. Something that they might work on in future updates, I suppose. So, uh, I guess for now... I will sign off. I'll make another uh, Let's Play tomorrow. Have a good night.